Hello friends, this is Jeff of Talflator Mouse. Today we're going to be testing a beta version. It's not ready for prime time, it's not for sale. Uh, it's a brand new slug made out of 100% copper that's designed to fragment into seven pieces. This was sent to us by Tim Hamilton of the Ballistic Machinist channel on YouTube here. And I will put a link to his channel. He's starting to upload again. Welcome back to Alfleda Crew. Here we are at the uh, Roscoe P. Cole Train Private Rifle Range today. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do some beta testing for uh, Tim, ha Tim Hamilton, uh, ballistic machinist. He's got these that he's trying to develop, and uh, they're all copper. Uh, look pretty nasty looking, <laughs> but uh, we're gonna try them through a smooth bore. Uh, see what they do, if they tumble, if they fly, and then we'll try them through a rifled, uh, fully rifled barrel, and see if we can get them to stabilize any better. And uh, well, like I said, they're all copper. They're meant to expand. They've got uh, six pedals in there. And if they work right, they're gonna be uh, DRT, dead right there. Anyway, we got some uh, various targets set up downrange. Let's see what they'll do. Where did you where'd you get the blinker fluid? Is that expired blinker fluid? Yeah, they don't make that anymore with all these LED lights. Oh, they, they don't need blinker fluid. I never thought of that. Yeah, we snuck that out of uh, Edwin's grandpa's barn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're gonna use a smooth bore this time. And uh, remember, these are bait. This is a beta version. We'll see what, what's happening with uh, smoothbore, because he he had some problems with the smoothbore tumbling and stuff. Vaporize that. That had him in a direct imp, a direct center shot. Felt good. Well, the good news is the slug was very accurate. The bad news, it was completely unstable, tumbling, and actually hit backwards when it hit that water jug. It's actually quite difficult to come up with a brand new design for a shotgun slug that is stable out of a smoothbore shotgun. But eventually, Tim figures it out, changes the center of gravity or the length or whatever, and eventually gets uh, stability out of a smoothbore. I have no idea what a tactical towel will do. It's a wet towel. Possibly simulate flesh. Possibly, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, went off in the distance. Again, out of the smooth bore shotgun, we had no stability at all. The slug just tumbled end over end and this one wasn't quite as accurate. This target was about 20 yards away. In the first shot, it was only 10 yards away. Fortunately, it was accurate enough to hit the rolled up uh, wet towel, which I, th <laughs> as goofy as that seems, uh, I think it's uh, gonna be a promising target to use in the future. That was a complete towel. Hold, hold it, just hold it up. Look at that. that. That might be a good target from now on. We definitely got, that just tore that towel all up. That's a new ballistic medium. It's the uh, Tennessee towel. Ten <laughs> Tennessee Terry tactical towel. We haven't towel. picked on Tennessee lately. Tennessee ballistic gel. Yep. Oh, look at that. Got one fragment. I, I, we're going to be able to make a, there's another one. There's another one. And another one. Oh, wow. Yeah, the old Tennessee towel, I think we'll have to consider that. Let us know in the comments if you, if you, you think that's a good target or not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we are on a very low budget. Is that a Tennessee tuxedo? Yes. Tennessee tuxedo, will not fail. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that uh, that was through a smooth bore. It was tumbling like a like a madman. 
again, these are the beta tests. Hopefully, with with our in, input, we can uh, he can determine you know the balance of these things. I think he's he, these are de definitely not ready for prime time yet, but you know you don't you don't have instant success. There's, there's a lot of failures before you have success. Yep. So yeah, he's had a lot of excellent uh, slugs that he's he's developed. And it just takes time to uh, get everything perfect. You want, ideally, you want something that is universal that you can shoot just as well through a smooth bore as you can through a rifled barrel. There we go. Eleven twenty. Oh, that battery went dead. Now this is something I have never seen before. I was absolutely surprised to see it. Yeah, the slug was starting to expand before it hit the target. Yeah, the centrifugal force from the rifling caused the pedals to actually splay out a little bit. They were bent out about 45 degrees before impact. So that not only kills off some of the rotational speed, but it also really affects the accuracy too. See if you can see uh, some kind of a pattern in our cardboard. I wish I had a better piece of cardboard, but hey. In test number two through the full rifling, again we get the premature expansion of the pedals. Uh, this one was a little more accurate for whatever reason, but you, you know, it may seem terrifying to have the uh, pedals you know, splayed out like that, but in reality, the, it affects the aerodynamics and the stability of the slug. Now, you can imagine the difficulty of designing from the onset a slug that expands in the air like that. But now we, we have the ballistic wet sand. We want to see, is this a new target that we want, you know, we'll see if it works well or not, or if it's just a flop, but some, something new. Not non-certified ballistic, so. Well, it's not FBI approved. No. I'm ready when you are. All right, here we go. That one it definitely went to the right. Ah. Here we go. Now in this test, the target was moved back from 10 yards to 20 yards. So in case you're wondering if it would continue to expand beyond 10 yards, well. That's it. It does not expand any further than that. But it really is amazing to me that he has so much precision in these that you can have uh, repeatability like that. It happens every single time. With a little bit of work and a little tweaking, I think Tim has an excellent design here that has a lot of potential. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. And we want to thank our Patreon supporters and also our channel members for their ongoing support. We'll see you next time.